2022 Honda Civic C Review, Evolution of an Icon There aren't a lot of cars that stir emotions quite like the Honda Civic C. The affordable performance icon has been around in the US off and on since 1984, and it's often the benchmark other automakers use when building their own compact sports cars. For 2022, the Civic C looks familiar but sharpens up. Now available exclusively in four-door guise, the sedan sports cleaner sheet metal and a fully revamped cabin. Under the hood, the turbocharged 1.5-liter engine from last year remains, but it's been thoroughly reworked. Add to that a more aggressive suspension setup, and the Civic C feels grown up, but more fun than ever. The front end of the Civic C looks clean, with a large lower opening on the bumper and slim headlights that sink seamlessly into a smaller grille up top. The taillights are sharp, too, blending into a trunk lid that has a unique double-winged spoiler sitting atop it. Every photo you've probably seen of the 2022 Honda Civic C is in the same color, including the car pictured here, blazing orange pearl. The $375 paint is the most alluring of the bunch compared to the more basic hues. And when joined by standard 18-inch matte black wheels and gloss black accents, the eye-searing orange pops even more. The Civic C certainly has a cohesive look and one that improves on the funky styling of the previous generation. But where other automakers have taken big risks design-wise in this segment, like Hyundai and Subaru, the Civic C still almost feels too safe. The interior, much like the sheet metal, foregoes funky angles and unnecessary accents for a simpler, subtler look. But that straightforward thinking works better here than it does on the exterior. A combo of black and red cloth covers the seats, faux carbon fiber accents dot the center console, and the unique mesh material that covers the air vents in the standard Civic carries over, but now with a red outline. It all looks very good. The suspension is stiff, really stiff. The Civic C is uncomfortable to drive on anything other than perfect pavement, crashing over minor bumps and undulations with an awful thud. The 18-inch wheels and low-profile, high-performance tires, part of the HPT trim, are big contributors to that poor ride. To the Civic's credit, poor ride quality isn't uncommon for this class, the Elantra N-Line and Volkswagen Jetta GLI aren't exactly poster children for cushiness. And the Civic C makes up for that harshness with great sound deadening and superb front chairs. The cloth buckets cradle the driver and passenger with perfect bolstering and ample, but in back support, but they are manually adjustable only, and Honda did remove the heating elements for 2022. The Civic C doesn't necessarily feel cramped from the driver's seat, there's plenty of elbow room and the cockpit doesn't enclose the driver in a tight compartment. But on paper, the Civic C has the worst front headroom at 37.6 inches, and the front legroom is a modest 42.3 inches. At least the cargo hold is competitive for the segment at 14.1 cubic feet, better than the WRX and matching the GLI. Honda won't ask you to shell out extra cash for a bigger touchscreen or advanced tech. The Civic C gets a standard 9.0-inch display with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, with a partially digital instrument cluster joining it. The only downside is that the fully digital cluster available on the standard Civic's Touring model doesn't make its way to the sea, nor does navigation. But this setup is still easy to navigate, with options arranged neatly on the home screen in color-coordinated boxes. Touch responsiveness is smartphone quick, and even though the instrument cluster is only partially digital, it does allow for multiple configurations on the left display. Also standard on the C is a 12-speaker Bose audio system that sounds good. Along with SOSO styling, this Civic C technically has less power than its predecessor. If you're looking purely at the numbers, the turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine now produces 200 horsepower and 192 pound-feet, as opposed to 205 and 192 last year. It's paired to the same short-throw six-speed manual transmission, still powering the front wheels exclusively. So does this Civic C feel slower? Not in the slightest. There's more low-end shove off the line thanks to max torque that's available at just 1,800 RPM compared to 2,100 in the previous gen, 
and the 30% lighter flywheel means less rotating mass to move under hard acceleration. At the higher end of the spectrum, the Civic C shows plenty of grunt. Even though its red line is still 6,500 RPM, peak horsepower now hits 300 RPM earlier than it previously did, and it feels like there's still power to give, Honda is assuredly saving that for the Type R. The six-speed manual is remarkably slick, in fact, the throws are 10% shorter here than they were, which makes it easier to snap the gearbox into place quickly. Joining the party for 2022 is the Type R's rev matching system, and I, for one, welcome any technology that makes me a better driver. Downshifting without heel towing and watching redline jump is a satisfying feeling that makes it easier to push the Civic even harder. That said, if you're feeling exceptionally confident, you can turn it off via the touch screen. That ultra-stiff suspension, while not the most comfortable, makes the Civic C an absolute joy to flog. The entire structure is stiffer, and that newfound tension gives the C more composure through tight turns and near-perfect balance. The new electric steering rack provides more heft than the setup it replaces too. Around town, it's almost too weighty, but it's perfectly beefy for putting the Civic C through its paces. You will notice some front-drive torque steer, if you take an especially tight corner too quickly, even though this car has high-performance tires and a standard limited slip differential. And the clutch pedal is squishier than I'd like, but those are minor gripes. The Civic C is a tremendous performance car in nearly every respect. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.